there are very few games that I want to platinum multiple times. Now I have done this before with games that I love like Far Cry 3, Assassin's Creed 2, Mafia 2 and a few others. Which brings us to this game, Grand Theft Auto 5. Recently having its 10th birthday, which is just insane, I knew that I wanted to get the Platinum again. I had already achieved this on the PlayStation 4 back in 2016, and I hadn't really even played GTA 5 for well over a year, let alone the story. Now going into this, I already had 21 trophies from when I first played it on the PlayStation 5 and got pretty much all of the online trophies, as well as the 15 hours in first person, and somehow all of the stunt jumps. But with its 10th birthday recently happening and the rumours of GTA 6, all of the rumours, I wanted to do it again. So I broke this one down into three steps. Step one is to just finish the story. Step two is to do the 100% completion trophy. And step three is any cleanup that may be left. Now, I was generally excited to do this game again. But one thing I didn't expect was the pure hit of nostalgia I got. This game is 10 years old, man. That is insane. I was in college when this game came out. I was 16. That is insane oh man this brings me back to being 16 i think i think this game nearly came out 10 years ago what the hell is this menu damn i forgot about this part get in there still feels good man game still feels great was quick bang oh i was thinking for like he was meant to hit trevor i remember playing this for the first time i was like damn so that same character's dead like and i was like oh my god it's all a conspiracy <laughs> everything about this game was epic man when i played the first time even now it's still a fun game but when you first go through the story it is it's mind blowing. Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh. Gave me chills back in the day, man. It's probably got the hardest driving to get used to when you've like played different games for years. I remember like when I first got this. Oh my god. Even now, it's like I mean I you know, I've got like fifteen hundred hours on GTA, but you don't play for like a year and you forget all the timing, all the little movements you need to do for the for the steering, it feels so sensitive. Oh, Lamar, you douchebag. It definitely sped him up there so I couldn't overtake him, for sure. There we go. Welcome to Los Santos. You repoed a car, raced it through the heart of the sun soaked metropolis. Oh, God, this classic scene. Oh, nigga don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. <laughs> oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon, the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. <laughs> that is so iconic. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, you wanna go? You wanna go? I say you wanna go? You wanna go like that? Huh? Yeah, that's what I, oh, I love it. Oh, it feels good to be back playing this game, man. I love it. Now doing the first heist in GTA 5. And man, this whole... The last few hours of me playing it has just been nostalgia, dude. Like, while this game is still active online, like... I, I done this story, like, the first couple of days it came out. So, all of this for me is just pure... And utter nostalgia. Also, I'm currently horrendously unwell. Like, the, I've got this pain in my stomach and my back and my head and my nose. Probably the worst I've ever felt in my life, I swear to God. But yeah, man, playing this story through again hits me with that real nostalgia. You know, 10 years ago, man. You don't think it when you think of GTA 5. Like, especially not for me. I've been, you know, I played the online weekly for eight years, I think, you know. Doing this story again, man, it's just like, yeah, it's crazy. It's, uh, and I, I feel like this whole Platinum is going to feel like that, you know. I feel like this whole Platinum is just going to be pure nostalgia. You know, I've, I've done it once before. This is the second time I'll be doing it. Come on, let's see if we can take everything. I've never tried to take everything before. That's what I wanted. A minute left. Oh, lovely. We've got loads of time. I went for I went for the the higher hacker. 
Uh, a really good getaway driver. And this, this gun guy, he's a bit naff, but... We're done. We're done. We've rinsed it. Let's go. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. Uh -huh. And that's, I think that's where Trevor finds out, isn't it? That's it, boys. And you get. Lester's waiting for us at the lockup. I mean, three million is still three million. Split between five people, that's really not too bad. I would have preferred the... Would have preferred the four million, though. That, would, that teaches me to try and go cheap on the on the, uh, the gunman hire. Diamond hard. You cleaned out Vangelisso to pay back Martin Madroza. So I carried on with the story, just getting the trophies. There's actually not that many trophies related to actual story missions. It's probably, I think it's like one every 10 to 15 missions that you get trophies for. They're obviously just for big things like the heists, as you would expect. But I did have a few funny moments, like here when I was using Trevor and I saw this guy rob this woman and landed this corker of a shot. And then I got another story trophy, and then one of the funniest cutscenes in the game. Thank you. Oh, my N word, huh? What What's up, up homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. What a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No, really? <laughs> Of course, death wish it is. I'm not killing Michael. I'm not killing Trevor. Death wish it is. I feel like this really is the perfect end to arguably a, a perfect game to a certain extent in terms of the story. Like all three working together after several, after a few big bank jobs, a few ups and downs. Now we're all working together to take out every common enemy we have together. Ain't gonna have no more trash <laughs> coming out. Gotcha. Guy, what's his name? He shot him. Jesus fucking Christ. What a shot that was. Trying to break the whole hey man, he got this man roll on his ass. All your boys are dead, Devon. What do you mean all our operatives are dead? <laughs> oh, yeah, she heard me. <laughs> wait, wait. Bye -bye. Finish Devon. Here we go. Push the car off the cliff. <laughs> Goodbye, amigo. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, that'll do it. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, this makes me so happy. This brings me back. <laughs> there we go. To live or die in Los Santos. Incredible. In. Incredible, man. This whole story was a big hit of nostalgia. Brought me back to being a lot younger when I was in college. Uh, yeah, man. You know, my body's going through it at the minute. So to play this just made me so happy. I've loved every second of this story. There's still a lot to do for the Platinum. But, man, this is just... Just, oh. It still holds up in terms of its story, its gameplay, everything today. Absolutely loved it. So with the story done, my next focus was the 100% game completion trophy. There is a lot to do for this 100%, but you don't technically have to do 100% of everything. But you do have to do 69 main missions, 42 pastimes and hobbies, 20 strangers and freaks, 14 random events, and 16 miscellaneous. So there is a lot to do. 
So now it's time to do the absolute just randomness of Rockstar, which is all the strangers and freaks as well as the 100% completion. Where? Brief stats. There it is. So we are at 56%, uh, 65 and 69 for the main missions, 1 of 42 for hobbies and pastimes. Oof. 5 of 20 for strangers and freaks, 3 of 14 for random events, and 1 of 16 for miscellaneous. So it's cracking through the 100%, you don't really get many trophies until towards the end of the 100% when you've like got all the, the collectibles or you know you've done all the rampages and stuff like that. But then I had this really epic moment with Franklin where I just took this helicopter down and it would tell me to leave the area so I was like well what else am I going to do except for just jump off and I, what? why would it link that animation? <laughs> and I was clotheslined by a wall. But then I got a few more trophies while carrying on with the 100%. All of this was generally good fun, I didn't ever find myself to be too bored. So we're now cruising down towards one of the last uh, Let Us Scrap collectibles. There's a few collectibles that you have to do. The space parts, well there's the submarine one, I can't remember what that's called off the top of my head. This where we're at the 100% at the moment obviously is the next day, we're now at 75%. Uh, most of the strangers done, random events and obviously, yeah like I said I'm just... I thought I'd crack on with some collectibles just instead of leaving them till last, that's always the worst thing. I hate leaving collectibles till last, so I thought yeah, I'd take a break, I've done doing a lot of missions, I thought I'd take a break, get some of the collectibles. And actually a couple of these collectibles are related to Stranger and Freak's missions, so it kind of works hand in hand. There we go. You what? I got enough motherfucking money, homie. I'm famous. Fuck you! I can do whatever I want, those are the rules, civilian! Get away from me! I'm an odd! Say hello to Leonora, motherfucker. <laughs> there we go. A mystery solved. Solve the mystery of Leonora Johnson. Lovely. Nice. Oh, and that was a trophy. Multidiscipline. Attend a gold medal in all applicable hobbies and pastimes. Oh. So that must have been like one that I was building up towards. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure I have to get a medal on every single one of these, which is a bit of a faff, but uh, I think I have to, I don't know, maybe it's just a few, but we'll see. But anyway, I've got to do this next. I didn't realize that was a trophy. Oh, there it is. This should be the final collectible. Oh, lovely, 50 of 50. <laughs> Franklin's face. I'll see you on the other side, brother. And there we go, from beyond the stars, collect and return all spaceship parts. This I gotta try. So I think this is the, uh... The final uh, rampage. I just wanted to get this one done because they're a bit of fun. Uh, you know, like getting collectibles is only so fun. It might not be. Oh god, there's so many of them. It might not be uh, boring collectibles, but it's definitely not what I would call fun. That's for sure. But I'm getting there with the hundred percent. I'm slowly whittling it down. It's uh, it's a lot longer than I remember, man. The hundred percent. Jeez, like. It has taken me a while. I could have sworn it. It would. Have, I could have sworn it. It only took me a day before, but clearly I'm. I'm very clearly. Oh my goodness! Good jump, guy. Uh, I'm very clearly misremembering. There we go. Lovely. That should be all of them done. There we go. Red mist. Complete all rampages. Lovely. Now this row at the 100%, 86, uh, three more strangers and freaks, one of them will be Kiflom. Uh, I've done the two main collectibles and there's obviously still a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that I need to do. Now I'm now about to fly over... No, we're not flying over. <laughs> now about to fly under Bridge 50. Uh, these ones haven't really been that bad, like the, the knife flight things were a bit of a pain, but nothing that you would uh, cry about. And this should be this one. And there we go. Close. Shave complete. All under the bridge and knife flight challenges. Absolutely splendid. The collectibles and that were a bit boring, but other than that, I'm not um I'm 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 definitely not bored, so to so to speak. 
Oh! While I was doing some miscellaneous bits, like hanging out with friends, I went into this pub to play darts and turned around to see gunfire. And Fr Franklin is shooting a sub I don't know why. I still don't. I think maybe he was aggroed on me. But what's Franklin's problem? This should be the last mission I need for the 100%. I've done... Where are we at? There you go, look at that, 99%. 19 of 20 Strangers and Freaks. This should be the last one that I need. I just got to do one more tow truck. I forgot that you have to call Tonya to get the other missions. I thought they just showed up, so I've just been waiting for them to show up and they never did. There are some other missions and Strangers and Freaks that I need to do for uh, trophies. I just haven't got around to them yet while doing this 100%. I probably could have done them at the same time, like two birds, one stone kind of thing, but... Um, it just didn't work out that way. But this should be it. This should be the 100% trophy. You're solid, Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. Where's my... And there we go. Career criminal. Attain 100% game completion. Now, of course, there's still a lot to do, but it's nice to look at that and go, nice, 100% achieved. Always satisfying to look at that. Uh, 21 hours with Franklin, 10 with Trevor, and 9 with Michael. So with 100% done, it was now time to go into the cleanup. For the most part, there was just some fun things to do, but I knew I wanted to start with the worst one, which was the 70 gold medals. And I knew the rest of the cleanup after that would be pretty fun. So I knew at the start of the cleanup I wanted to get the gold medals out of the way. This is never something I enjoy. I didn't enjoy it the first time I done it. I didn't enjoy it with Red Dead Redemption 2. And I didn't really enjoy it here. It's just boring having to replay missions again just to get those certain objectives done. But then I carried on with some of the longer trophies like the waste management one. That's a real drag. And then just a few other little fun ones that didn't take too much time. So I've got four trophies left to do, all pretty fun ones to be honest. One I've got to do with Michael, which is the Kiflon one. And I've got, I think, I've eaten by a shark, spend 200 million. And then the one that I'm now going to be heading towards is um, to be with all three characters and have a three-star wanted rating for um, three minutes. All right. Three minutes on the clock. Let's do this. Should just be able to cruise around here, to be honest. Make sure we don't lose the cops. Whoa. Oh, it's Michael and Trevor. I was going to say, I thought, what the hell are the police using to shoot at me? The other thing I do miss is online, I have a car that's like completely bulletproof, like even though like, the windows are metal. Man, I miss that car. <laughs> I miss that car so much. All right, I reckon I'll get it in the next few moments. I don't reckon I'm too far off. Because it's only three minutes, and I think I've been doing it for a little bit under two and a half. There we go. I thought so. I thought I was close. Three man army. So by three minutes, or at least a three star one level, with all three characters together off mission. Lovely. And there we go. A lot of cheddar. Spend a total of 200 million across all three characters. Oh, okay. So I'd already spent 80 million. Oh, I'd actually spent more than I thought. I didn't actually intentionally leave the last trophy till last, which is the Kiflon one, which is just like one of the most bizarre series of side quests. And I think that's that's one of those side missions that's always just stuck with me. Uh, but I've done like most of it. I've only got to do the last couple of parts of that mission. Uh, but I just thought it'd be fun to leave till last. I didn't intentionally do it, but when I had like a few left, I was like, you know what, I'll leave that one till last. That'll be funny. Because that Kiflon thing is so stupid. Well, it's just blue. <laughs> there is nothing under here. Aha! A shark. Is that buddy? Come here, I'm gonna punch you. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> there we go out of your depth 
Gonna need a bigger boat. Franklin really is my go-to with literally everything. I've I've used him more than any other character. <laughs> He's been through it, man. He really has. Yeah, that 22 hours with Franklin. Jeez. Alright, time to play as Michael. There we go. One to five miles through the desert wearing the Epsilon robes. Yay. <laughs> This has taken so much longer than I thought it would. Oh my god, we've just hit the 4.9 mark, so we're nearly done. But, pfft, I think this has taken me like, god, like 35, 40 minutes? I thought this was like a 20 minute thing. Oh my god, honestly. There we go. Five miles, walked in the de desert, pilgrimage complete. I'm pretty sure this mission that I'm going to now is the final mission for the Kiflom Trophy. Uh, it's just, just so rat like you're just getting scammed pretty much. It's so funny like the amount of money you have to donate in that uh, And then you know walking five miles in the desert wearing them robes for ten days It's just like complete nonsense, but it is really funny. I'm pretty sure there's two options if I remember correctly One of the options is like the more is the one that you probably should do which is if you kill everybody I think you get two million dollars and Their car or a license plate or something like that but if not, if the easier option is just to accept it, and then you can drive, I think, I think it might actually be drive up to near here, and you can get a rusty old tractor. While the game itself has been easy to get the platinum the second time round, it's actually been one of my tougher platinums because man, my body has been going through it, dude. I think I mentioned it earlier in the video a few like a couple of days ago. But man, I've had to have like blood tests and everything done, dude. I've been going through it. So like, it's been like a really fun game to play. Like, just keep me in a good mood, you know. Like, just them, them constant hits and nostalgia has just been great. Follow Epsilon. So I just gave him another 50 grand. Oh my god, this dude's having a great old time. Come on. Pick up the speed a bit, will you, mate? I'm carrying money, not champagne glasses there it is oh there we go Kiflom complete your path to enlightenment or not and there we go Los Santos legend congratulations you're Vinewood's biggest star so Platinum 141, and according to my PlayStation, the PS5 version of Grand Theft Auto 5 took me 70 hours. Started playing it properly on the 22nd, and finished it now on the 2nd. Fantastic Platinum, as I've been saying throughout this video, a real hit of nostalgia. I loved it, I really, really did. I thoroughly enjoyed it, it's really kept my, you know, my spirits high while I've been feeling so rough and going through all this stuff. Obviously I didn't have to do any of the single player, uh, any of the multiplayer stuff, because I'd already done that. Uh, on the PS4 edition, obviously then it had carried over unintentionally when I played it back in March of 2022, so yeah, um, well over a year now, uh, but all in all, a fantastic Platinum, uh, and yeah, I really, really enjoyed it, but there's one thing I want to have a quick look at, I haven't looked at it since I loaded this up, I want to have a quick look at my multiplayer character, but in terms of the Platinum video, that is, uh, that's the end, but if you guys want to just have a quick look at my multiplayer character, I'm going to do that right now. Always had a watch going. Always had the gloves going, the the white kind of style Air Force. Uh, I had a lot of styles uh, while playing. What have I got? Oh yeah, I've got a warehouse. My house is up there. I never liked the big mansion ones, but I had a. I've got a warehouse there. I've got a clubhouse there. I've got a meth lab. I think down there. I've got a bunker up here. There's a bunch of new icons. I don't know what the hell any of these icons are, but they're not really interest of mine. All of my license plates, by the way, say King. Uh, I done that when I was really young. I don't regret it. <laughs> and I'm level 211. How much have I got there? 3.2 million, is that? Yeah, 3.2 million. Over my career, I've made $54 million. Um, I've killed two and a half thousand players uh my kill to death ratio is 1.63 uh 29 days 15 hours played in gta online 
Those are my skills. Max everything except for stealth and lung capacity. Character was created on in 2013. My last rank up was 2021, so that was when I actually last played. I was never really one for getting like the fastest, the best cars ever. I was just like, I like what I like. And, you know, a lot of these cars I was able to soup up. And I'm, I was I was actually a pretty good driver back in the day. So, yeah. Go away. So this car I like, man. I like this one. Kind of gives me like that, that Mustang vibe, you know. But this is my, this is my house. I never liked it. There's always someone standing at my front door, though. I never liked the, the, having the big, like, massive houses. Go away, everyone's calling me. And then these are my cars. This is my favourite car ever, man. I love that one. But these are my cars. That was when the Bennys thing came out, man. That, that cost me so much money. Some basics like this, I you know, like, this was the first ever car I ever bought on GTA 5 online. Like, my first big one. And I have kept it since then. I refuse to get rid of it. This obviously is a classic that was free. This was for when me and the squad were rolling because pretty much all of my other cars are two two doors. And then this is my bulletproof one, which I just love. And yeah, all my license plates say King because I think that's that was awesome back in the day and I think it's awesome now. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I thought I'd just show you guys that quickly. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching the video uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.